Yeah, Shannon, Mike, this certainly wasn't the first flooding they've seen in this area this summer. It was pretty crazy earlier today. There was a car stuck in the water here. They had precautionary measures like these sandbags, but it didn't seem to really make a difference. This road here completely flooded out earlier. This Comer Street manhole in Hayes bubbling over this evening, but earlier it was like a geyser. Had you ever seen this uh, manhole cover blow like that? No, no. way. No way. Dave Allen says the cover blew six feet off and the water spewed 20 feet high, something he'd never seen in his 49 years living here. Neighbors we spoke with say water shoots down the hill from Baldwin, pouring onto their street in haze. Cars stuck in high water on Glass Run Road around 5 o'clock after flash flooding hit the greater Pittsburgh area yet again. Not as bad, but also some big pools of water in Whitehall. As night fell, cleanup began. Mud washed off the roads, but the rocks lodged under this Lincoln still there tonight. We're told the owner is on vacation. Well, she'll be uh, in for a surprise when she comes home. Yep, but John Shelton is not. He's simply not surprised by this latest episode of water working its way onto Comer Street. You get kind of used to it after a while. It's the neighborhood. You live here and, you know, you got to take good with bad. Not what you want to become accustomed to, but you sort of have to at some point. There are still some cleanup trucks driving through here, even at this hour, working on getting this mud off of most of these roads.